Welcome Scorpio to your March bonus love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're going to use this AF uh, accurate AF tarot deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and at the end of the reading we're pulling these uh, lovers of oracles and also these hidden truth oracles which is uh, messages from your person. Let's go ahead and get started and see what's coming in for you guys. We have a lot of uh, cards here. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. I'm just gonna take them all. Six of Cups. The Chariot. Four of Wands. Eight of Swords in reverse. Queen of Rings upright. And then we have the Dawn of Cups and the Lovers Reverse, okay? So, as you can see that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Amazing. I usually never take this many cards, something just, you know, I felt like I needed to, so let's see what's coming in. Just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Three of Wands, the Strength card, Judgment, Two of Cups, Five of Swords, Eight of Eight of Wands, King of Swords, Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Scorpio, this is a very truthful reading here. These cards just told a whole story, okay? So I'm just gonna explain what I see here and what I feel here. We have the chariot in reverse, which means you knowing this probably isn't the best path for you, but it's feeling like some type of soulmate. But this person has done some bad things. This is about lying, cheating, betrayal, never telling the truth really or always making excuses about the truth right which seems to bring you back into this relationship now this is very real talk here and this is what actually happens you know and i feel like this needs to be um said the eight of wands energy is like you you go in and out or someone goes in and out of your life here right so you put the brakes on it you could go you know a couple days or a couple weeks without talking to them and then you're here at this queen of rings so you're wanting stability you're wanting that you know stable relationship someone that's going to be committed and loyal to you because that's who you are you're this nurturer then we have the lovers in reverse this is separation in the end you have a choice to make okay because this person is not going to go anywhere even though they leave for a little bit they're not going to go anywhere they're always going to come back and the moment that if you're still there right if you're still there they know they can come right back to you but i feel here with this uh, dawn of cups how it's sideways it's a decision now do i really want to continue this because now we have the empress who is centering herself who is listening to herself okay this is aligning your mind body and soul this is the goddess of the deck you could have children as she's holding a baby or you could be a parent here. But she's very abundant within herself. And this is the overall energy of these cards, which means this is who you are. It's gonna happen in the past, yes. I'm gonna keep this right here because I'm loving the Empress energy right now. And I do feel like you are releasing and you there could be you know a possible third party, some manipulation here. There's judgment, so it's in the challenge. Now, judgment in the challenge is needing to be honest with yourself or your partner needing to be honest with themselves. 
but I don't feel like your, your partner has any control of the situation at all. And the reason why I say that is because they're not going anywhere, okay? This is a person who comes in and out of your life, who hurts you and then leaves, okay? And then says everything in their power to come back. I'm sorry, you know, they'll do anything. They'll act like it's the end of their world. And then you're like, okay, maybe this time they really mean it. The strength card is here because I know for my Scorpios, you guys are strong, you're courageous. Again, you're holding that Empress energy with this Queen of Rings. And I feel once this decision is made, this person is good 10% of the time. And the other 90%, they're horrible. But it's like you're holding on to that 10% because it feels so good. And everything seems feels so right. And you just like can't picture yourself with anyone else because that 10% is what you want, right? But you don't want that 90% of that chaos, the inconsistency, the lying, the cheating, the long breaks in between. This is all up to you because this person's not going to change. Now this person, um, you know, the challenge is the judgment. So again, needing to be honest with themselves. We have the two of cups. We have the page of pentacles here. What you don't see coming is this king of swords energy. Now this could be your energy, you know, even though you're a water sign, you could be carrying this energy when making a decision. Okay, and this energy cuts to the BS, only wants the truth, and that's it. And I feel it all has to do with stability. There is some manipulation here though. This is the five of swords. It feels like if you make the decision to leave, this person is going to try to win you back no matter what. And even if you get in arguments with, with this person, this person is going to win at that argument no matter what and pushing you away, right? Because they know that if they come back, they can have it again. Because all they have to do is create this scene, like cry or get upset or tell you how much they really, really love you and then boom, they have you again. It's a karmic cycle. It's actually, you know, it's insanity. And now the people who have already gone through this, you know this is a karmic situation because you understand, you went through it. It's not easy to get out of. Some people stay in for years and I feel like this is for a Scorpio who's getting out and it's all up to you. You have the power, you have the control to get through this. Now this could be somebody completely new coming in with the Two of Cups energy, or this can be another round of the karmic cycle. But I feel like you have the power in the end because the cards are telling me that you are the goddess of the deck. You are already abundant within yourself. You already mastered this lesson. It's just now closing it out, right? which is not gonna be easy because you've done it so many times already. You already cut this person off so many times. You already knew it wasn't the right path for you. You already knew that there was no stability. You already tried to stop it so many times. Now, I feel like there was a time in this relationship where it was really hard, right? This chariot, because that's really knowing. This is a major arcana in reverse. So that's putting the brakes on something, maybe a long break with you and this person. And it could have happened due to a past cheating situation, but then somehow they got you back again. But now it's separation again, okay? The story is just uh, going, going, going. So basically it's your choice here, Scorpio, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull some cards to get some more information. But yeah, is that 10% worth it, right, of the happiness? Now we do have the 10 of cups, so all you're wanting is that 10 of cups, you're wanting that all you want it's like a desire for peace wanting that calm just wanting to like hang out with your man or your woman and just lay on the bed together and no worries living that happily ever after life building your life together growing with each other that's what you're wanting and this person is making it so hard because there's so much love there and they do, won't go away and they won't change no matter how many times they say it you know, trust the universe to know that something better is out there for you. Give each other space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah. So this could be a separation at this time. But it's now saying reflection. 
It's a reflection of what you want, okay? And during this space or during this time in separation or when you do go in separation with this person, again, because that's what's going to happen, because um, it's a karmic partner, it's like trusting yourself, trusting the universe. Have faith that no matter with or without this person, everything's going to work out how it's going to work out. But it is your choice to realize what this is. And you know what it is. We have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives and let go and all will work out. It's telling you in two cards that all will work out, okay? Once you make a decision. If you are resonating with this or you have been in this situation, then you've already been out of this situation. You know what it is, okay? And uh, you're the empress in this reading. and. If you haven't, if you're in it right now, or you're not really sure what a karmic partner is, this is what a karmic partner is, okay? It's the most hardest person to let go, and the most, it feels like the most truest love ever, all right? But it's asking you to surrender. Well, that's what you already know what to do, okay? Because there's so much more. The Ten of Cups is in your cards. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Now for some of you, this is you leaving the past behind. And if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah, because this could be a new opportunity in love. Someone that is going to be serious and determined. Now, you could already be with your other person here that, you know, your soulmate, soulmate. Um, but for some of you, this is new beginnings coming in for you guys. Okay. Now, let's see what this person has to say. Just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah. This person feels that passion just as much as you do, but only 10% of the time. I don't really don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I really don't. This is what it is. So many things remind me of you. Well, yeah, this is, uh, feels like a very strong connection. If I left, I left you before you could leave me, but I, <laughs> but I want you. I'm going to leave you before you leave me, but I want you still. These are the hardest times when people go through these relationships. It's not easy at all. Okay. And it gets so toxic. It does. It gets so toxic and it's like, it feels like there's no way out. But I do feel like this is the decision. This is the last call. Okay. Even though it's in the challenge, it's asking you, be honest with yourself here. Trust the universe. Know that you already are the empress. And once you're that, I feel like it's kind of like a spell. Like this person has a spell on you, you know, or this and they feel the same way, but they can leave and hurt you anytime. And you're always the loyal one. I know that you are. You're always the loyal one. But it's just showing here. You can leave this relationship or you could move on or you have already moved on. Knowing that you did all you can already. You did. You've already mastered it multiple times. All right. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope that this did help. Um, if it did in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.